So in this video, we'll take a look at how to optimize Cox, Ross, and Rubenstein model. One of the major benefits of Cox, Ross, Rubenstein is that if we increase the step size, we approach ever more accurate values. And broadly, the temple 1996 point out with a 15,000 step tree, uh, you arrive at or you can obtain in inverted commas true values. So um, while that is something that's quite positive, uh, the disadvantage here is this is computationally expensive. And then finding ways of increasing the step size while reducing the computational time and computational cost um, and the resource cost of um, running these type of estimations then is really important. Uh, one way we can approach this is to in the design of the lattice, make use of dynamic memory. And also if we can truncate the zero region within the tree, that also uh, proves to be quite useful in reducing estimation uh, time. Now to get some kind of sense, what if level of efficiencies can be introduced by using various design here in terms of the lattice, um, we can take different segments of code and the first one, the very basic one here, the static memory using uh, a lattice, a Cox, Ross, Rubenstein static um, memory, which is consistent with the binomial code we obtained uh, from, not from Kerry back, from uh, Fabrice Rua. So this code here, VBA code, and the explanation of that code mirrors, mirrors very closely the C++ equivalent. So the first segment of code here matches with that VBA code. So let's just implement and look at the computational uh, time taken and speed, and we might look at accuracy. So I'm taking values here that are consistent with uh, broadening the temple, but to run the estimation, uh, I'll use online GBD. And then uh, we go on to that portal uh, and we select here C++. Then we remove the fragment of code that appears and we just paste in uh, the code that is on the Vinegar Hill portal. And then very simply we can just run and we can check a little bit here that the code is in order. Now we're using a 5,000 step tree instead of 15 and the parameter values that we will apply are coming from the directly from the Brody and the Temple paper. Okay, so uh, where is this coming from? It's basically Table 2 of Brody and the Temple 1996. I want to take a look at that paper. It's this paper, American Option, New Bounds, Approximations, and a Comparison of Existing Methods. And... Uh, the values that we obtained here are values that are from the table. So risk free rate of three, volatility 20, dividend yield of seven. Uh, we have an asset price, so S spot price is 100. The value we obtained for the option, the American option, is 9.066. And for a true value would be 15,000. We're using five. The exercise course here is um, 100. So let's take a look there. So we run the estimation and we have a value of 9.065767. So that's basically 9.066. And the estimation time in CPU seconds is 7.92 seconds. Uh, we go back into uh, the portal um, and we take another snippet of the code this time we're going to take the dynamic memory uh, so we go from static to dynamic to dynamic memory and let's investigate just very quickly what is the impact now in every other respect the, the code is similar with the same parameter values what we've really changed here is just simply that we're using dynamic memory and again we'll go into the online uh, GBD GBD, and we'll paste our code in. Now we have to make sure it's C++. 
is the language that we select. Delete out the remnants of what was there, paste, and we will run. Normally you want to ensure that you've picked up uh, this, the curly brackets. Uh, that's important. Um, and we, the nice thing about running using the online GBD, we can run two or three or four estimations at the one time without imposing substantial costs on our own uh, computing resources. So this time, same code again, but key difference is that it's dynamic memory, but with the zero region truncated. So I go back into online GBD, online GBD, GBD, and we open up that portal. We select the language, make sure it's C++, remove what was there from before, paste in our snippet of code. Might take a look that we have our curly brackets. Okay, let's run this code. Now this time again, it's the same parameters as before, 5000, S100, K100, T3, and it's American, and we've 9.6. 0657. So if we compare the output here, so this is the dynamic truncated against the purely dynamic with the same option estimation. This time it's three seconds. Here for the truncated, it's 1.4 seconds. And for the static memory, same value for the American call, but 7.92 seconds.